All right, welcome to this video. Now we will start with section one, understanding Node-RED. So in this section, we will understand how to install Node-RED, what is a Node-RED and what Node-RED can do. So I'm using the software since one year now, and I'm using this extensively to control PLCs and to make dashboards and to link my data to cloud, cloud services. So, but I will start from the scratch. How does this work? So to, to make your PLC link with the cloud or your controller to link with the cloud or external technology, you need to understand the basic fundamentals of Node-RED. So in this Node-RED course, what we will start, we will study with how this Node-RED can interface with the Raspberry Pi. But this will come later in the sections. We'll understand the basic fundamentals of Node-RED, and then I'll show you how to interface your Node-RED with hardware devices. So one of them would be Raspberry Pi. And then we'll see how to interface that with Arduino. So if you have Arduino or Raspberry Pi with you, this course is must. And these hardware devices are not so expensive. You can just buy them and then you can learn how to program Node-RED and you can link that with your hardware. Similarly, we'll see how to link your Node-RED with Siemens VLC. I will be using Siemens S7-1200. Not only that, we'll see how to link Node-RED with IIoT device. So if you have an IIoT device with OPC UA inside, you can interface your software as well. And then we will see how to interface it with a Delta PLC. In this case, we will use Modbus because this PLC doesn't have OPC. And similarly, we'll understand some technologies which we are going to use to interface my hardware. For example, OPC UA, we will learn what is a Modbus, how to use Node-RED as a Modbus client. And we'll see how to interface your hardware devices, these devices, further to the cloud. We will learn in this course. And we'll see how to link your data with a MySQL database. So if you want to store your data, you can do that. In this case, we'll use MySQL and we'll run some queries inside the Node-RED to push the data in the tables. And this will be very interesting because earlier in my lessons, I was showing you how to do that with Microsoft Access, but it was not so reliable. But I will highly recommend you to learn Node-RED so that you can save your data in MySQL. Last but not the least, we'll see how to work with MQTT signals. So these all, the whole package is a kind of IIoT lessons you will learn in this Node-RED course. So let's start with the first topic, understanding Node-RED, and let's see what is a Node-RED. So Node-RED is a programming tool, I've written a definition, in which you can link your hardware devices and you can program that. And the best thing is it's a browser-based editor. So if you see, I have written here browser-based, which means you have you don't have to have a software application. You can open this Node-RED in any browser, for example, Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer or Edge. So whatever browser you have, you will use that browser to do programming. So it's a browser-based editor. So it's quite easy. You don't need to have a special configuration in your computer. You don't need a high-end graphics, high-end RAM. It's a normal programming software. Use very less memory. Well, it also depends how much code you have written, but it can be, it is run in the browser. So that's the best thing. So in this uh, software, we work with the nodes. So for example, if you see here, this is a node. Which is, which is pushing the value of a string hello world inside a payload. So these are the nodes, nodes are the inputs. So you push the value using these nodes. And then this message.payload is actually the feedback or what are, whatever happening in this node will be displayed in message.payload. So if you see this payload, this is actually coming here. So when this inject node is pushed here, it will display hello world as an output. So message.payload is the output. We will understand these nodes in detail, but this is just an explanation how the programming is done. So you don't have to do a lot of, uh, you don't have to type a lot of codes like in C++, you will use nodes, but then, then there are some function nodes in which you will write program. Okay, so that will come later, we'll see. But just to inter introduce you, it's a browser-based editor. All right. And how can we use Node-RED? Now the question is, if it's a browser-based, how to use it? Number one option is locally. Locally means you can install this Node-RED in your laptop or in your computer. So you can install it in your computer and that's the first step we will do. We will install it in the computer and then I will show you how to run it. So locally you can use it. Second is on the device. So on the device you can 
you can for example use Arduino or you can use Raspberry Pi so you can use node in these devices as well or in the cloud for example we will use IBM cloud later in the course so you can install node in the cloud okay so this is a programming software in the cloud so you so you don't have to have a computer all the time you can go to anywhere open the internet open your cloud or sign in into your cloud and then you have a programming editor inside so these are the different ways you can use node if this makes you feel interesting you can start programming node so if you need more information, you can go to the Node-RED website and they have a lot of information, a lot of documentation about Node-RED. So most of the information I'm using from the documentation to make the learning easy. All right, so now comes the step how to install it on the PC. So if you have a computer right now or a laptop, I'm going to tell you how to install it. So number one step is you have to install a software node.js. So this is, this is important. Without this, you can't run Node-RED. So how you have to install it, just go to this website, nodejs.org, and then you will find a link. So maybe I can open it for you. So this is the website, and this is Node.js, and you can download this recommendation, download for Windows X64. And if you want to see other downloads, maybe you can find for 32-bit Windows as well. So just download it and install it. That is, that is a step one, nothing much complications. And then step two is, now you have to make sure this is properly installed. That you can do is using command prompt. So I will open a command prompt and I will show you how we can do that. So this is my command window. You have to type node minus minus dash dash version. So I will type, oops, sorry, I have to give a space. Yeah, now you will see it says version 11.9.0 so you need to find the version so if there is no version coming it means it's not installed properly so you have to make sure the version is being shown and then you can also check npn 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 version in this case it shows 6.5.0 so you have to make sure you have these values coming in to make sure node.js is installed that's it so that's the second step you have to make sure Third step is you have to install node -RED now. And this you can do is by entering this command, npm install. So I can show you here, npm install minus g minus unsafe. Perm. So you have to type it and you have to press enter. In my case, I already have node -RED installed, so I don't have to do this. But once you do this, it will download the node -RED from the server and try to install it in your computer. It may take four to five minutes, maybe not more than that. And then you'll have a confirmation that Node-RED is installed. So this is, there is no setup.exe file, no RAR file. You have to install Node-RED from the command prompt, okay? If you're doing it for the first time, stuff like that, don't worry, it will work. So just go for it. <laughs> and then you have to run Node-RED. To run Node-RED, you have to open the command prompt and type Node-RED. So this is my command prompt. So once my Node-RED is installed, in your case as well, just type Node-RED and press enter. And then you will see Node-RED is being executed. And in the end, you will see started flows. So it means Node-RED has started. Now, how to see the Node-RED window? That comes the step five. Open Node-RED in browser, enter in the browser localhost 1880. So I will open my browser here. So in the browser, you have to type localhost 1880 and press enter once you do that you will see this window if you see this window your node red is successfully installed congratulations and once you see this window then we will see how to work with node red programming tools all right but this is must you have to have this window and this will come by localhost 1880 and localhost is your local ip address of your pc so in this case it's 127.0.0.1 it's a localhost ip address so these were the step how to install Node-RED on your PC, all right? And now in the next video, I will show you how to install nodes in Node-RED. So there are many nodes which we have to use, and these nodes doesn't come in the installation of Node-RED. You have to install separately. So I have recommended several nodes here. For example, 
for IoT, for Modbus, for MQTT, for Siemens, for Arduino, for MySQL. And so we will see how to install these nodes in the next video. So stay tuned. In this video, just install Node-RED, make sure it's running on your browser, and then start with the next video. See you later.